Hey guys, Kev here and uh, I'm in the garage. So I was uh, tinkering around a little bit. I was setting up these uh, garage door sensors and keypad and shit. It's called, it's this brand called MyQ. Uh, I'll try to link it down below if anybody's interested. But basically it takes your, <clears throat> um, takes your garage door openers, uh, you know, and you can connect it to your Wi-Fi through this hub. Now you can get the hub, the, actually the guy who owned this house before me told me about it. Um, ironically, he's still friends with the neighbors. So like I've actually hung out with him. He's cool. And, uh, it's been kind of nice because any questions I've had, he's just willing to answer them. And it's not weird at all. For either of us i don't think anyway um but um he's like you should try this thing i saw it at home depot so i looked it up it was 28 bucks for the hub so that hub comes with one sensor for 28 bucks so let's say you have one garage door you just have a big garage door right like mine is two smaller ones which by the way sucks because I can't fit my truck in here. I could if I like had automatic mirrors and squeezed in, but like this Honda Accord barely, like it fits in comfortably enough, right? And then I'm using this half of the garage for, you know, tools and shit like that. But um, yeah, so 28 bucks, you get the MyQ hub. You plug that in somewhere in your garage. Make sure you don't do what I did the first time. I plugged it into an outlet that I have. I have a couple of free outlets up there and there. You can see that one. And um, they go on and off with the light. <laughs> so I hooked it all up and then shut the light off. And I was like, God damn it. Because it's, it's got to be connected to your Wi-Fi at all times. Um, so then I had to plug it in over by where the, what the garage door opener is plugged into. And then it was fine. And you take one sensor, I'll show you. It's gonna be a little hard because I'm using the front camera on this right now. Uh, but I'll show you everything I can. So that right there, you see the thing with the light, right? That right there is the my hub. So you just plug it into an outlet and then you can mount it with a couple of screws. It took two seconds, it has a plate. It's like a smoke detector, it has a plate. You knock them in and then uh, tighten that bad boy down. And then you go to the app and you set it up. It was pretty easy, honestly. Um, if you're not very tech, you know, centric, have your kid or, um, you know, somebody help you, but it's, it was very easy. Um, and then you have this sensor. Okay. And you take this sensor here and you adhesive it to your door. And this thing's on there. Yeah, it's on there pretty tight and it's very light. Has a very, I guess, uh, strong little battery. I'm assuming they don't need to be replaced very often because um, they didn't mention it. And, um, they don't do, they're not working constantly. You know what I mean? Um, so you do that and then you link it all right. It was honestly, for me, it was real easy. And most of you probably think, well, great, Kev, that's a great idea. But my garage door opener is like 20 years old. So that shit ain't happening, bro. I'm not going out and buying a $150, $200 garage door opener, and then installing it myself or having somebody install it, which is the expensive part, just to do this. Well, you're in luck. These things fucking work with stuff going all the way back to 1995, I think they said, maybe even 93. My house was built in 1989, and I'm pretty sure this garage door opener is original. It's a Genie model 350 GL or something like that. That thing is old. That thing is loud, okay? This one right here is new. It's a uh, Chamberlain. It's very quiet and it's pretty new. It was probably put in, you know, five, 10 years ago. But um, 
Anyway, you just have to climb up there and there's a learn button on your garage door opener. Now, I'm not saying they all work, but there's a whole long list and most of them work. And again, mine's really old and it worked. So hopefully that'll be the case for you guys too. Of course, you can always return this stuff. It doesn't work, but um, it was 28 bucks. And then if you want to get one for your other door, like I did, it's 16 bucks for the other sensor. That's not bad. I mean, 40 bucks ish and out the door and maybe you can get a deal on Prime Day or Home Depot, wherever. And you have Wi-Fi control for two garage doors or whatever, your garage. And I know it's kind of stupid, but like when we moved in, we I had to find the opener. I had to find the opener for this Genie and it was really old. The opener had no battery in it. I did end up ordering a battery. I had to order a clip. I got it all to work and I put it on my visor in my truck. But like... I don't know, what if I'm with my wife, or what if I go out with my parents, or for whatever reason, somebody needs to get in my garage, you know, it's just cool. Um, is it necessary? No. You can have a little clicky garage door opener, and you're fine. But this way, as long as your Wi-Fi is working, you can get in and out of your garage with the app, and you can invite people, so like, you can have your parents on there, you can have your wife, you can have anybody you want on there send them a, a thing and they can access whatever, right? Maybe the neighborhood, whoever needs to come borrow your mower or your sports shit, you know, a tool. I don't know. And you're on vacation. Boom. Um, one other cool thing for some of you guys, some of you guys are going to think this is invasive and terrible. Um, uh, and this is why you're not going to buy it. So listen up. Okay. Um, Amazon. So you can actually link this bad boy to your Amazon and then you can have them deliver. You can select it, check out or default Amazon key. I think it's called key delivery. And basically the guy shows up to your house and he gets beamed a code. He doesn't get your code. He's not able to like get back in your house. It's a one-time thing. And he gets beamed a code, boom, he can open your garage door, put your packages in your garage, leave, and the garage door shuts. Now your packages are in your garage. Let's say it's a snowy day, a rainy day. You are you have a house like me, for some reason, uh, this house was not built with a front porch, a front roof, or anything. It's completely flat out there. Um, it's something we want to tackle at some point. Um, but like in the sun, the door handle is like on fire. Um, and if it's raining or snowing or anything, your packages are going to get freaking walloped if you're not home. Like if you work from home, you know, whatever, but you're not always there vacation or whatever. It'd be kind of nice if you had this option. It doesn't mean they're in your house. Like you still have your, I still have another code to get in the house. Sure. They could steal all my tools. But is the Amazon guy going to do that? Because you're going to know it was the Amazon guy and call them, you know. And if you're like me, and this is why they do this, 38 bucks. That was it. 40 bucks. Guess what? They have a video keypad. Now, you can also just get a regular keypad. They have other stuff like cameras and sensors, all types of shit you can add, right? It's a family of products, just like Ring or Wise or whatever, right? By the way, I'm not sponsored by any of this. I paid for all of this. I'm just telling you because I'm excited about it. Um, I do have the Wise stuff as well. That's uh, W-Y-Z-E. The doorbell came with my house. So when we moved in, they had the doorbell in there and we reset it and then we just logged in, set it up, boom. Now we have a 1080p video doorbell. It's awesome. Um, I actually just ordered the thermostat because I want to try to, I don't know, be able to manage the thermostat a little bit better. The one we have doesn't have an auto setting, which is dumb. It's just heat cold off an emergency heat because it's a heat pump. So I can't just set it to auto and have it kick on heat when it needs heat. Cool. Like this time of year in September, October, 
it might go back and forth and it's annoying that I have to decide what to do. Like in the morning we might need the, you know, but anyway, um, they sell this keypad that I just installed. Um, I guess I'll show it to you. All right. I'll take you out there. Um, I would use the app, but I'm on my phone right now. I don't know if it's going to mess everything up. So I'm going to use the quiet one here. You can hear how quiet this is. If you're used to growing up in garages like I did, that's pretty quiet. You could probably hear it, though. So I'm trying to be quiet. Neighbors are probably... So here, so this thing has night vision, and then it's a video camera, and it's the keypad for the garage, right? Um, they didn't say anything about keeping it out of the elements, but I guess it technically is under a roof. Um, but so I can come up to this and just beep, beep, pop, boop, and I'm in just like any other, you know, garage keypad, or you can use it as like a camera and then you can let people in, um, different things like that, um, which is pretty cool. So it even has a video call button. Um, and yeah, and then it'll like call, uh, me, I guess on the app. And then I can talk to you and decide to let you in or not. Something like that. I just installed it. Now that thing's a hundred bucks. Okay. So necessary? Nope. They sucked me in with that one. I got the cool Wi-Fi garage door opener I didn't need for 40 bucks. And then I went and I bought that. And I immediately was like, why did I even? But hey, now I got it, right? And then I installed it and I was like, ah, oh, shit. Because it comes with a battery that you have to, when it's dead, you take it out and you charge it, which is going to take 10 hours or whatever. So I'm like, I should get a backup battery. There's another 35 bucks. Then there was the uh, storage to keep, you know, watch the videos or whatever. Uh, for the doorbell, for Wise, it's like $2.99 a month or something. For this, it was like $3.99 and they only hold your shit for seven days. Um, so I just paid for a year. It was like 30 bucks with a coupon. But they get you, you know what I mean? They definitely got me. Um, but whatever, I was already in. So they, you know, that's how they, they do it. They suck you in and then bam. So if I was you, which I'm not, I would suggest getting the garage door stuff and you don't need the keypad. Just, you could get a basic keypad, keep the keypad you have. I had to get something because the old keypad, um, I didn't know how to change the code and I wasn't worried about the previous owner. Like I said, I, I know the guy, but it's just good to, you know, make sure nobody has your stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's the uh, MyQ uh, garage door stuff. It's made by Chamberlain. Um, so, if you have Chamberlain stuff, it's definitely going to work uh, or be easier. But like I said, it works with Genie. As far as I know, it works with Craftsman and a whole long list. They have it on their website. So, here's the problem with this thing. It doesn't work. Um, I can wave in front of it. It should be sending me some kind of a notification that there's a person at my garage. I even changed the sensitivity to high. Uh, like I'm just not getting anything here. Um, the battery life, I installed it maybe five days ago. It's already at like 90%. So extrapolate that i'm going to be changing the battery once a month i bought an extra one that was 35 bucks and um the call button nothing doesn't do anything um it worked like twice when i first got it well i should say it called me it would give me a notification that said hey you have somebody video calling you i would click on it and then it would just load and load and load and load and load. And it just would do that endlessly. I would never get to the video call. Um, so it's literally a glorified garage door keypad. It just code, boop, it'll open and close like a keypad. 
that's all it does it's a hundred freaking dollars plus the extra battery so 135 and it doesn't do anything it says it's supposed to do i tried to find reviews on it on youtube and they're all it's weird it's like they're all just unboxing it and setting it up but they don't show you anything else um i'm gonna do a screen record of uh this while i'm hitting the button and everything and you can see nothing happened i don't know how many of you guys are interested in that kind of stuff let me know i can do more of it um as i just add stuff to my house i, mean, I could do a whole video on this john deere tractor uh i could basically review it at this point um milwaukee stuff you guys want to talk about milwaukee stuff um i got a whole fucking uh toolbox thing right here full of it that i've been using a lot i went overboard this is like their best impact driver quarter inch fuel um gen 4 impact driver has a ass ton of fucking rpms and torque um, i think it's four thousand on the rpms um where they don't list the uh, maximums on here. It's interesting. They only list the minimums. But it was something gnarly like that. And then I got the insulation driver. Because I wanted something that had the offset chuck. The right angle chuck. And I wanted something like I could hand my wife. That she's putting together Ikea furniture. Nobody wants to do it with the Allen keys. Those suck. Um, but make sure you get hex or, uh, metric hex, uh, bits, because if you use the standard bits with Ikea furniture, you're going to fucking strip all, all the screws. I made that mistake oh, or the other way around, whatever. Um, so I wanted to get something with a little less, you know, uh, giddy up. It's still great. This thing. I use it to drill uh, holes in my deck and just re, you know, like um, put some screws in just to kind of lock it down a little better. Um, but that's why I got that. And then when I bought this, I was like, man, because I've got it. And I was like, damn, dude, this thing is massive. And at first I thought it was kind of too big and uncomfortable. Now it fits my hand great. I said to use it. Um, so then I picked up the M12 version. So this is the, the M12 fuel um, impact driver. And this thing's great. This is probably my go-to because of the size. It's nice and compact. You can see how much smaller it is. But for around the house home ownership, like for me, this is uh, great. But anyway, I'll talk about this stuff in a different video because I guess I'll title this something about that MyQ stuff. Um, it, it'll be a low-tech review, so to speak, because I'm not going to edit in a bunch of like stuff. So you guys will still have to do research. But if you wanted to know if it's worth it, I've had it for a week or two now. Uh, I just installed the keypad, so I don't know how that goes yet. I don't want to speak on that. And I'd say for 100 bucks, you could probably find something. Just get a regular keypad. Unless you need a camera on shit in your driveway. But, like, now I have two angles of the same kind of thing with the front door cam. Um, you know, you could literally get a keypad, basic one, and then just get a... Um, just get a camera, like a wise cam or whatever. They're they're probably cheaper than the hundred bucks, and you can install that, and it would be the same thing. Because if you have the MyQ hub, you could just let people in. They can call you, and then you can let them in. You don't need to use the keypad as you know FaceTime or whatever. Yeah, I don't know why I bought it. Okay, talk myself out of that. But the hub and the sensors and the garage door opening thing, awesome. I love being able to do it on my phone. I'm getting ready to pull up to the house. I just pull it up, bang. Um, I, there might be a schedule you can set up so it just opens for you. Or uh, maybe like once you get close to the house, it'll open. I haven't tested all that. 
it's not something I really want because sometimes I go in the front, you know. But um, yeah, let me know if you guys want more of these type videos. I don't really know if you have a choice. I'm kind of just doing them. <laughs> but uh, I love you guys. I really appreciate all of you. Bear with me as I'm adjusting to the new crib and the new life. It's it's a big change. I mean, I've never had this much space and stuff to do. Like, it's fun. It's really, I feel, I feel like I leveled up. Like, I'm a man now. I'm a dad and a man. You know what I'm saying? I got my garage. I got a kid. I'm out in the neighborhood. All the dads are the shit, dude. It is. We scored so big on this neighborhood. That's the biggest takeaway from this whole thing. I mean, everybody here is great. We had a freaking fire pit out in the cul-de-sac last Saturday. And we were out there. Kids had marshmallows. Um... Literally the perfect setting, I think, for raising a family. I think we just got very lucky with this neighborhood. So I'm really grateful for that. And um, yeah, it'll be fun to see what we, what happens over the next years. I love you guys. And uh, I'll see you soon. Peace.